Welcome back to P1. Today we're looking at differentiating functions with two or more terms. So this is really no different to the last video on quadratics. And all we do is we differentiate each term individually. Let's have a look at a few examples. So looking at this first one, if I want to differentiate this, what I need to do is multiply by 3 and take 1 away from 3. So this becomes 3 times 4 is 12, x squared. Then I want to multiply by 2, take 1 away from 2. So it becomes 16x. And then 7x becomes just the 7, or minus 7x becomes minus 7, because it's a power 1. Now, I'm going to look at question 2. Again, same thing. Multiply by my power and take one away from my power. So four sixteens are 64 x cubed. Multiply by my power and take one away from my power. So minus eight x to the power one, and my constant here will become zero. Same kind of thing here with these examples, just write in a different style of terminology there. And so we multiply by this power, we get a half x and we take one away from the power. Multiply by the power, take one away from the power. Okay, so first thing I want to do is rewrite this f of x. So it's in a form that I can do. So x to the power half plus 3x to the power 5 minus 2x to the negative 1 plus 1x to the negative 2. Now we can go ahead and differentiate it. So that will give me a half x to the negative half plus 15x to the power 4. Now I'm multiplying by minus 1 here, so it's going to become plus 2x to the power negative 2 minus 2x to the power negative 3. Now, just a quick check um, at my powers. You know, I've taken one away. Five's gone four. Minus one to minus two. Minus two to minus three. In particular, with the negative powers, as that is where you're more likely to make a mistake. Now, if I left it like this, that would be worth full marks still. But I do prefer to have it in the same form as the question. One over two root x plus 15x to the power 4 plus 2 over x squared minus 2 over x cubed. So with this one, we need to first separate this out. So we get 5x squared over x minus 8 over x. That x will cancel, and we get 5x minus 8 to the, with the x to the negative 1 there. Now I can go ahead and differentiate. So I'm just going to call this one y, and then I can use dy by dx underneath. So differentiating, we get 5 plus 8x to the minus 2, or 5 plus 8 over x squared. Now, with the part B and part C, we just have to expand and then differentiate. So I'll just speed this bit up.
Okay, question four. So first thing to notice is that this is a differential. So that's what we want to do. But before we do that, let's rewrite our f of x. So I've just taken that x or the root x to the top and written it as a power. Remember, p is just a constant at this moment. So I can leave it as 16 over p. That's just a number. So differentiating this gives me minus a half times 16 over p x to the minus 3 over 2. I'm sorry, this was an x here, so it becomes plus 2. So now I've got minus 8 over p x to the minus 3 over 2 plus 2. And that has got to equal this when x equals 2. So let's substitute that in. So when I substitute 2 in, I get minus 8 over p multiplied by 2 to the minus 3 over 2 plus 2. Now, 2 to the power 3 over 2 is 2 root 2. The minus will put it on the bottom. So that gives me minus 8 over p multiplied by 2 root 2 plus my 2 and that equals 4 minus root 2 over 2. Now looking on the right I can separate this out so 4 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 and this is minus 8 over 2p root 2 plus 2 there. Now 4 over 2 is 2, so taking 2 away from both sides will leave me this. And since both my sides are negative, I could swap these sides and make them positive. So I'll also divide the 2 there. So I've got now it's positive, so 4 over p root 2 equals positive root 2 over 2. All I need to do is rationalize this root 2 here by times in top and bottom by root 2. So that gives me 4 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is 2, so that's 2p. And if I think about a little rearrange here, 4 over p root 2 over 2 equals root 2 over 2 is quite clear that 4 over p must be equal to 1. So 4 over p can be equal to 1, so p equals 4. A little bit of a shortcut there, but what I just did is divide by root 2 and times by 2, exactly the same thing there, and then ended up rearranging for p. So nice and easy at the end.